SC3B has, uh, uh, is an electronic batch controller. It uh, allows us to install a, a solenoid valve onto the pump and basically make the pump an X-Air pump. We remove the C-spool assembly from it. And uh, the controller allows three different batch sizes. And it also gives you continuous run mode. You also can do electronic speed control uh, with this controller. Okay, first we're gonna start taking the uh, standard uh, C-spool assembly off of the pump, and then we'll install the uh, solenoid valve to make this pump X-Air. Now if you notice, our batch controller gives us three different um, settings for the batch one, two, and a three. And basically all you're putting in is a preset count to, uh, to get to your shot size that you need. And depending on the number of counts and depending on the pump size will uh, vary your shot size naturally. So you're going to want to uh, probably start up low and keep working your way up until you get to the volume that you need. I have it set up right now on batch one. And typically the first shot, since this is a suction lift application, the um, pump could be dry, so the first shot will be off. Um, all we have to do to change the, the shot size is go to our next batch. Now it's on batch two. And you'll see the shot has changed. This batch controller will give you plus or minus 5% accuracy. Now, the shot will be very repeatable as long as your air pr pressure to the pump remains constant. As you can see, from one shot to the next, if I adjust the air pressure up, you'll see the shot size has changed. So let's go ahead and try that um, at about 35 PSI, and then we'll bump it up to about 50, and you'll see the shot will change in the next, second shot. So as you can see, it's real important to keep the air pressure consistent. <laughs> 